have this disease. Everybody in the whole world has it. And so we all need a remedy. We need a tremendous change, a transformation in our lives. And so um, the first change that we need is called justification, where we become justified before God. Before we're justified by the Lord, we're guilty. We're guilty because we have this sin. So, and so you have to suffer eternal consequences because we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We all need a deliverer. We need to not go to Mount Sinai, but Mount Zion, where Jesus was crucified for our sins. What God did in the conception is he added humanity to himself. Priority is to show that Jesus Christ is superior to everyone and everything. He holds preeminence. Because when Jesus Christ was conceived in the womb of Mary, it was unique. Because what Jeremiah said is, hey, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, the days are coming. And you know what Jesus is saying? It's here. And what will inaugurate this new covenant? His death. But you see, if Christ offers his sacrifice, his substitutionary death, to take away all your sins, and you reject the only atonement that God can give for your sins, the only covering, then you must pay for your sins. You have no other savior. There is no one else to save you. There is no one else to deliver you. You must, this is something you must, it's not just important, it's not just that we have faith, we must have faith in the person who is revealed in the Word of God. And that's why God commands all of us to go and make disciples and tell people the good news of Jesus Christ, that God does love them, and He loved them so much, He sent His only Son on the cross to die a substitutionary death for them, so that they could have not eternal death, but eternal life. My question to you today as we close, are you one of his sheep? And if you are, are you following him? 